We welcome you back at 752. In these challenging times, many organizations that normally rely on donations have had to modify how they do fundraisers. This is the time of the year. We see many charity walks. The Heart Association, the American Heart Association, still holding their heart walk, but they're doing it a bit differently this year. Beth Osserhoff is the Heart Walk Director here this morning to talk about it. Good morning to you, Beth. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. How are you? Great. Thank you. Well, staying active, physical, uh, physical activity, one of the one of the ways to maintain a healthy heart. And you've had to get really creative this year with your heart work. What are you planning? We did. So we have switched to a complete virtual format. Um, and this Saturday, May 16th, we ask everyone to join us um, and walk with us wherever you are that day, wherever you feel the safest. Get out with your family, your pets um, and go for a good heart healthy walk. Well, that's great because I, it seems to be that is the new norm. I've seen so many people walking in the neighborhood, taking, uh, taking the dogs out, things like that. So people have already been practicing this, so it should be an easy transition to get involved with this. They sh it should be. We're hoping that people have been walking to, to gear up and get ready for a one or three mile walk this Saturday. Okay, so how does this work? Because I, I think I can pick out 10 people and probably all 10 people will know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who has been affected by heart disease. Um, how do we do this? How can we get involved? Yeah, so most of our stuff that day is gonna be on our Facebook platform. Um, so if you haven't already, go to facebook.com slash A-H-A-S-T-L and join our event. At 10 a.m., we're gonna have online opening ceremonies and then we're asking people to get out and walk post pictures that day using our hashtag HeartWalkSTL um, and post pictures in our event page so that it seems as if we're all walking together, just not necessarily side by side this year. Yeah, social distancing has to come into play, of course. So it would be a great idea for maybe a neighborhood or a cul-de-sac or a particular subdivision to kind of get together and do it. And you want folks to post it online with a, a hashtag HeartWalkSTL, right? You got it. So where does the money go, the money uh, raised for this? Where does it go? Yeah, so it goes to research, education, community out, um, outreach. Um, and then we had a bold response to COVID-19 as well. Um, we set aside $2.5 million for research um, specific to the cardiovascular implications of COVID-19. So um, we're doing a lot in our communities and across the nation. Um, so all the money goes directly to our mission. Fantastic. The Heart Walk is happening only online this year. So we're encouraging folks to get involved. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And of course, we will have you. all the information you need on our website, as well as our Fox 2 mobile app. Time to walk to a break. We'll be right back.